Now, News 18 has told you about hospitals right here in the area seeing a staffing shortage and paramedics. They are no exception to that. News 18's Perry Apostolaco spoke with the director of the Tippecanoe Ambulance Service to find out more about this. Perry, is a paramedic shortage because of the pandemic here? Actually, Marley, Nick Sansone says the problem has existed for years. He says with no paramedic school in the county, finding these trained professionals becomes more difficult. Sansone says pay has also driven people away from the job. According to the latest data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, paramedics in Indiana make an average annual wage of $36,360 per year. Sansone also tells News 18 professional burnout is common in not just paramedicine, but across the medical field. Supply chain issues have also plagued the ambulance market. Sansone says there are multiple ambulances in the county which are missing a chip that could make them operational. It takes you a year to get a TV these days or a washer and dryer. These ambulances have been built for a long time, but they don't have the chip that comes from wherever in the world. So there's a lot of ambulances that are just purchased, but just not able to be used yet because they don't have all the gear because of the long stream or downstream effects of COVID. Sansone says many who become paramedics now use it as a stepping stone to become nurses or physicians. Coming up in the next half hour, hear more from Sansone about what's causing major morale problems across medical professionals. Reporting in studio this morning, Perry Apostolakos, News 18.